first game, he gets the night in the first inning. I mean, this week I was really just working on getting better. All right, we're joined by Sarah Willis, Carson Carter, the historic stand up that will go down in history. First ever program seven inning perfect game throw in program history. Third perfect game throw in program history. The first in 20 years. Sarah Willis and Carson Carter. I'll start with you, Sarah. Just take me through it. What was working for you tonight? I mean, really everything was working. Obviously, always throwing my change up just to keep people off balance. But just working with Carson, rolling balls to my teammates, and rolling pop flies, and just doing what I needed to do. Carson, did you know early that Sarah had it cooking and she was locked in like she was tonight? So, actually, before the game even started, I don't even think she knows this, but I saw her and she was literally, she was like squatting in the uh, dugout, just staring out into the distance. And I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to say anything to her right now. Like, I could just tell she was so locked in. And um, going into the game, too, I knew it. And our bullpen was good. So I knew it. When did you both know what was at stake with the perfect game? When did you first know the perfect game? After four innings, I kind of started thinking about it, but I don't like talking about that stuff because then bad luck happens and then like a blue pit comes or like a punt or like weird hit. So just, I was just thinking good pitches and good spots the whole time, like after the fourth inning, just knowing that I needed to get balls to my defense because I wasn't going to strike everybody out, but and that's what happened. So you had some close calls right there at the end of that 3-1 count. Right. The sixth inning and then of course that second down for the um, I mean, like I said, just telling myself good pitches and good spots because I wasn't really missing by too much. Like Carson was having my back back there, and I just knew like the whole team was gonna have my back from Carson to the outfielders because outfield's the last line of defense, and I knew Kennedy had my back when the ball got hit out there every single time, and that last time was no different. It was just more of a difficult ball. Now your team had an opportunity to potentially walk it off and you wouldn't have been on the mound to clinch a perfect game. Knowing knowing what you know now, are you happy they didn't so you had a chance to go back out there for three more outs? I mean, honestly, when we got to that seven runs, I was like, we could finish it right now and get that AO, and it could still be a perfect game, not a full perfect game, but I just had confidence in my team to get that offense going, and however it ended, it ended. I just thought I pitched a good game, no matter what, so. Now, what about you growing up? Like, at any level, have you ever thrown a no-hitter or a perfect game? I've thrown no-hitters before, but I don't recall ever throwing a perfect game before, so there's always room for improvement. How was today? Or you ever caught a perfect game? I think I have. That's what I was telling Coach Shannon. I don't think I've ever caught a perfect game before. So it was cool to do it at the college level, too. What was your feeling getting that final out? I mean, what, what goes through your mind knowing that you, you did it? I mean, it was kind of just like an out of body experience. Like, it happened, and I was just like, oh, okay, three outs. And then I was like, oh, like, I did a perfect game. Like, it's crazy. And then I saw everybody running out, and I got really excited, and everybody was hugging me and everything. And it was just nice to have my team have my back like that. It was really nice. What is it? I mean, I'm just trying to get like Jada Cody and Shannon Doherty and get on those, get on those uh, UCF all-time records, and I just did that today. It feels great to be with Carson. So. Beyond the personal achievement, what does it mean to start out the weekend with a big win? This has been a rivalry in the conference for years. It's a big dub to start out a big series. I mean, Houston's a tough team, and we just got to go out every single game with the same intensity. So we can celebrate this for like 30, 40 minutes, and then tomorrow, like after that, it's a new game. Carson, your family's rich with history in all various sports, football, baseball. What, what are you, you going to tell your family here? You got a little bragging right yourself now. History is part of a perfect game. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm like the only girl, so like it's cool to do something in a women's sport. And like I can edge my name in that, not just all in the men's sport. So it's cool to set that standard now. Sarah, you have really seen to lean into pitching a lot more for the last, I would say, month or so. Did really emphasizing your pitching seemed to really just get on this tear that you've been on recently? I mean, just working the whole season, like I've been trying to get Get my pitching like to develop to what it is now and obviously like focusing more on pitching really does get me like locked in just to pitching and whatever I need to do for the team I'm gonna do it whether it's pitching cheering on the bench hitting like outfield like just 
trying to do whatever I can for the team. You two have clicked since you've been paired. Why? What? What make? How is it that you two seem to complement each other well? What? Talk about what Carson, how she helps you, and then how Sarah helps your job. <laughs> well, I did play with uh, Sarah in FGCL, and I got to hit against her first. So that was like the first times I had ever um, like seen her pitch, seen what she throw, all that kind of stuff. So then coming into the fall, Coach Bear kind of was just like, "Well, you've already seen her throw um, to you, so why not catch?" And then ever since then, I just was always the one to get the most reps with her and stuff like that. And then um, we ended up. You came so far as a pitcher; it's insane. So for us to be able to grow together as pitcher and catcher. I feel like that's helped seal the bond more. Yeah. And I really just like love having Carson back there. She's probably one of the best catchers I've se ever seen blocking. Especially with how hard I throw, it's crazy how much she blocks the ball. And just knowing that she has my back back there is all I need. She's awesome. Can't ask for anything more than that. So what do you what do you tell Grace and the rest of the pitchers as you know, to what to expect when you think about her? Um, honestly, just going out and attacking because they came out swinging and I was just throwing good pitches to get them out. So just not letting them get ahead and not getting late into the count like I was a little bit today. So just going out and attacking and throwing the best stuff because that's all you need to beat somebody. Congratulations, ladies. Some history tonight. Congrats, both of you. Thank, Thank you. Guys. you. Thank you. Congratulations.